Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to be doing a quick walkthrough of the iOS 7 Beta 2 on the iPad. The iPad version just released yesterday here in New Zealand, so I've downloaded it for you guys. So um, let's make a video on all the new features of iOS 7 Beta 2 and also the new features of um, iOS 7 on the iPad as it has not been released yet before iOS 7 Beta 2. So this is a fresh uh, walkthrough. So yeah, um, let's get started, guys. So in the time I've been recording this, um, there's been many bug fixes throughout the whole system, guys. Um, the first thing you will notice is the lock screen. It's very beautiful now, as you can see, it's very clean. Double tap and you get your music controls. Well, when you're playing music, you get your music controls there. Also, now you can access, um, Control center from the bottom right there. You get all your quick toggles, music, volume, your toggles, uh, clock, camera, and brightness. Also, if you drag down, you see you get your notification center, app store. The apps have been updated for um, automatically now. You get your today view and notification center is very beautiful. And as you, as you can see, there's a transparency effect between the or the um, notification center and the wallpaper so you get a sense of um, layering there basically so let's get into it see that beautiful transition effect this is what this is very very smooth on the iPad as we see so um, I, uh, Apple has fixed many bugs with iOS 7 beta 2 because on iOS 7 beta 1 there was many and I mean many crashes on the iPhone but on the beta 2 they've introduced the iPad so it's pretty good. So let's go, go through every app now. First of all, there's Messages. Messages has a nice UI on the iPad. It's basically bloated out, kind of, I guess, but you get the point. It's very similar. Just say hi to someone. So um, the keyboard looks very nice as well. Obviously, you can do up Siri here. So let's just say hi to me. Then when we press send, it gives you a nice bubble animation. This is new to iOS 7 beta 2 as well. So very, very beautiful effect as we see here. So that's messages. Let's go into the camera app. They've added a new um, function called HDR high, dyna high dynamic range into this. So um, it's very nice as it combines three exposures into one to give an overall better looking shot. So there's photo, you can go to square, and obviously you can do video. And when you press this button, um, and you go here, you go front facing, let's go back facing camera, sorry. Then you got the HDR functionality right there. So yeah, that's a nice addition to the beta 2. Let's go to maps, shall we? Let's go out of this, let's go out of here. Now you can see a very, very nice world view of the whole world. That's always a nice addition. So we can like spin around. I think this is also like real time. So it's like Google Maps now it gives you a nice view of the whole world. So that's also a nice addition. So that's maps. Uh, let's go to clock. Let's see what they've improved in here. Obviously, you can see there's a new font throughout the whole system called Helvetica Nui Light. Um, we got a world clock and a uh, stopwatch and timer. So it's very, very clean on the iPad. Looks like over bloated compared to the iPhone, but Apple should work on some fixes for that. So yeah, next, next second of all is photo boot. It's not major redesign. They haven't given much changes. They've only improved the font, let's just say. So yeah, that's about it for the photo booth. It's got a calendar, very, very nice. Also, you see here, gives you a nice interface. You can go day, week, month, year. Gives you very, very nice interface. And also the gestures work. See if we do that, you get that and then go that way you get all your multitasking abilities basically yes and then uh, let's go to contacts it gives you a whole list of contacts here so that's very nice uh, let's go to notes shall we no never mind um, and let's go to reminders this is very nice they've kind of improved it here so that's always good when we go, at, you can add a list to you if you want, and it can be color coded as well. So that's very nice addition to the iPad version. Um, newsstand looks very nice, very big as well on the iPad. 
Let's go. I uh, let's go to the App Store. Um, App Store looks very very flat designed and very beautiful. So you can see you can move. Quite. It's very very smooth now on iOS and Beta 2. I've got to admit. If we go FaceTime, it looks like a video application basically. So it looks like the Mac application. So um, if you guys don't have a Mac, it's basically like this now. So looks good. Uh, you got your same videos. You want to see that? Uh, Game Center is um very very nicely redesigned. So you see it. Let's go to my games. What I've got. Uh, nice animation. This is the only app that I've had trouble with, like lagging the most. But yeah, that's overall a nice change to the Game Center. Also, let's go to Safari, and then let's go there. Okay, let's just load up Apple.com then. So that's the first thing available. So yes, here we have um, Apple.com loading. So that's always nice. Uh, Safari has been redesigned. So there's a nice tab view. And over here, and go. Let's go. Take no Buffalo. Redesign. And then open, open a new tab. Go here. And then you can always have unlimited tabs as per so. Keep on, on opening tabs. You can do how much you want. So that's always nice. Also, uh, photos has been just basically a bloated out version of everything. So has been music. Let's go into settings. Something um, that's very nice. So you got airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, notification center, control center, do not disturb. You got a general. You see all of this. And then a new thing is that Siri now is uh, full screen. So let's just go. Uh, how's it going, Siri? See, it comes with a beautiful, nice interface here. So it gives. Oh, how's it going? And now there's a male voice. Let me have a look. See, it's like a male voice now. Yes, and, well, and also, you can go voice change and change it to female. What's the weather like today? Oh yeah, I need to turn my weather on. Yeah, that's about it for this. And let's go go control center. You see all of that now. So that's the same I showed you at the lock screen. Let's just turn it around that way. You can see how it looks when it's in landscape mode. That also looks very nice. Go full screen. And folders actually, they look nicer to me compared to the iPhone on here. Looks very, very nice and beautiful. Also when we go to settings, you can go write us some wallpaper and then you got the dynamic wallpapers. Let's just click on one here. Wait up. Let's click on one here. And let's just set it. So now you got a dynamic wallpaper and you can see it's moving at the background. That's always nice. So these are the main um, things I found in iOS 7 and that's a walkthrough. Another th good thing they've added in iOS 7 Beta 2 is the voice memos app which is not available on the iPad but that's also a nice feature to the iPhone which is mysteriously missing in the Beta 1 so yeah that's about it for that. Uh, so yeah guys that's basically my quick overview of the iOS 7 Beta 2 on the iPad and some of the new features that have been released so thank you guys for watching and obviously please like rate and subscribe and yeah thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.